Good morning, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session, Monday the 3rd of September 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com and you can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so basically we have the same sort of recurring theme again, uh, obviously uh, concerns regarding global trade, Asian markets down again, okay, emerging market concerns again. You got the Shanghai down, Hang Seng down, uh, the Nikkei down. Everything's more or less lower. Uh, dollar certainly is rising to a large extent. Uh, uh, Asian currencies uh, certainly moving lower as well. Uh, again, it's just a general risk off tone. Uh, copper moving lower. So uh, the theme remains the same. Yet yeah, U.S. equities certainly seem to be. Uh, I mean, again, if this is a light volume phenomenon, obviously given the summer holidays, summer doldrums, and the markets come back and then obviously sell into it. I mean, that's what I'm expecting anyway. Given the ongoing concerns, I mean, you've got NAFTA, uh, again, Canada certainly didn't meet the deadline on Friday. You've got Brexit concerns, uh, economic data out of the Eurozone this morning, certainly all coming out weaker as well. German data missing, French data missing, Eurozone data more or less in line. And obviously manufacturing data from the UK missing quite drastically and now forecasts are 2.1% growth lower due to Brexit. Now, again, the people that voted Brexit, I was totally against it. Argument, I was very uh, pro-Remain. Uh, yes, there were inefficiencies, but I think by remaining within the spectrum, you have more of an influence of, of changing them. So, and, and also, I think there was a misinformation cam, uh, campaign uh, intentionally led by idiots like Mr. Farage, really, okay. Uh, classical one being 350 million extra a week or month uh, from the, uh, via, via the saving from the NHS, that, that lie as well. So there are a lot of lies and a lot of misinformation, which we've confirmed now as well with a data analytical scandal, obviously with Trump coming into power using social media to dupe their way into uh, and lie their way into into power. So uh, again, I think on that ground alone, obviously given the misinformation campaign, Brexit should, we should certainly get another vote on that again, given the fact that everybody's educated correctly on that. Okay, so basically that's where we are. Okay, that's the status quo. Uh, again, from my perspective, it's overall risk off. Uh, certainly looking for our markets to move lower. Now the German DAX, let's have a look at the German DAX here. Now the German DAX certainly weaker, even though uh, a US market certainly recovering, uh, German DAX remains weaker. Uh, given the ongoing concerns regarding Turkey as well, the Turkey is exposed to emerging market concerns as well. And obviously weaker data, everything indicating lower move lower. Okay, 60 minute chart at the moment. We've broken that key support zone. Okay, the next potential gap fill is now 12,200. If we do start to reverse higher, which again, like I said, we, uh, we're we not uh, always bearish and we're not always bullish. Uh, again, open-minded. Uh, if the market does start going go, going into a, a risk on mode, then you are looking at uh, the gaps above. So you've got unfilled gap above. First of all, it's 12,490. The next one you're seeing is at 12,562. So again, the lower lows and lower highs certainly rem remain uh, in focus. In terms of the FTSE 100, let's have the FTSE here. FTSE certainly has rallied from the morning low there of 7433 in the back of obviously uh, weaker data, weaker sterling certainly providing a reprieve, but overall obviously it's risk negative. Now, also news regarding Carney as well remain potentially remaining. Nothing's been confirmed yet. Okay, news regarding Carney remaining as well. That certainly has stabilized the FTSE to a large extent as well. So that's certainly take that into account as well. Okay, uh, can we be carving out a potential inverted head and shoulders in the FTSE? Good question. Okay, let's see uh, if we can do that. We still have the unfilled gap above at 7.563 to close. Uh, but at this current juncture, it certainly looks like we've uh, met resistance. Okay, on the FTSE. So daily chart at the moment is still lower lows, lower highs, as you can see here. Uh, previous support equals resistance. We're still in that red, red candle. The red candle from the 31st of August certainly is dictating. Where it's an inside bar at the moment. Bears certainly remain uh, in control and the next potential uh, thrust law could take us down to 7300 given the ongoing shenanigans as well regarding brexit you've got an idiot uh, leading us unfortunately i mean it's sad to, to say this but I mean, Theresa may really is nothing but a dunce okay and then you've got boris johnson i mean morons like him as well it's just uh, i said this a long time ago you've got the incompetent uh, uh, party right that's ba basically uh, the brexit party right? a bunch of fools and, and morons really which is a shame um, because Britain has a lot of talent, okay? But Britain doesn't have talent at present to lead us at the helm, okay? Um, so again, looking at previous key resistance here now, 7510, 7500. If you break above that, then obviously you are looking at quite a powerful short squeeze. Uh, again, uh, keep an eye on US equities. Let's see if that can certainly continue to power us ahead. Okay, that's the status quo there in terms of markets. Let's have a move on to the French CAC now. 
uh, in terms of the French CAC. Now again, French CAC remains into that lower lows and lower high mode. Okay, uh, keep an eye on the French CAC here. Now, if we continue to push lower on the 60-minute chart, you do have that key unfilled gap below at 5370, and then you got 5340 as well. So you've got ongoing concerns regarding Asia, uh, China obviously lower, emerging market concerns, weaker economic data out the eurozone as well. All those factors certainly come into play as well. So bear that in mind, okay, in terms of the markets, okay. Uh, moving on to the euro stocks, last but not least, just give you an insight on that as well. Uh, euro stocks certainly have been crushed as of late. Uh, the daily chart at the moment, the next real support zone is back at 5350. We're in no man's land at the moment, okay. Uh, and let's see how the eurozone plays out. Weak economic data this morning as well. You do have that unfilled gap that you can see here, okay. Unfilled gap below at 5375. We're so close that it would be um, uh, silly to a large extent. Uh, it would be illogical enough for us not to close that gap now given the ongoing, obviously, uh, risk-off mode, so bear that in mind too. Okay, so that's the status quo. Uh, in terms of other economic data points, uh, really nothing for the remainder of the day other than Weedman's speech uh, later on around 6 p.m., and then obviously you've got U.S. markets off as well, so take that into consideration too. But again, general risk-off tone. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, take advantage of the signals and market updates from leading providers, and also visit cfds.com, certainly take advantage of that bonus. Goodbye now.